Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be looking at a number of mega machines, but with a twist. These ones float. Make sure to stick around till the end to see a ship with a displacement of 600,000 tons. The Mario M. Cuomo Bridge is a 5 kilometer long bridge in New York. Many engineers, laborers, and giant machines participated in its construction. But a floating crane made by LiftTech played a crucial part. In fact, up to 1,000 ton steel structures were lifted by it while floating on the water. The crane is built on a 100 foot wide and 400 foot long ship, while the crane boom is 100 meters long and is able to tilt at 60 degrees while lifting a load of 1,700 tons. Indeed, without this crane, the bridge spanning three rivers wouldn't have been possible. Nowadays, efforts are being made worldwide to curb carbon emissions, and wind turbines are playing an essential role in this. However, more wind energy can be produced by installing wind farms in the oceans, as the wind blows there much faster and has more density. That's why EDP Renewable came up with the concept of floating wind turbines. In 2019, they successfully made their mark by installing the first floating wind farm in Europe, in the waters of the Atlantic. It consists of three wind turbines producing 25 megawatts collectively, equivalent to the energy consumed by 60,000 homes in one year. You are now looking at a floating grid station that collects energy from wind turbines and transmits it to Germany's National Electric Network via a 75 kilometer long undersea cable. Thiof, the world's largest construction vessel, was used to transport this 9,000 metric ton cable. This floating vessel has a tandem lift capacity of 14,000 tons and can lift a load at 95 meters above the deck. The real challenge for it was to place the grid structure precisely at the right place despite the presence of strong ocean waves and winds. In this clip, you will see the Asian Hercules 3 in action. It is a 1600 megaton sea-going floating shear leg crane. The mainframe has been fitted with a fly jib of 1000 ton capacity. The crane's four individual hooks, two on the fly jib and two on the mainframe, enable a combined lift mode. In 2016, the Hercules 3 made history by installing a 4200 metric ton topside and an 850 metric ton living quarter.
Prelude is commonly known as the world's largest floating facility in the world. It is used to acquire offshore natural gas from 250 meters deep. The obtained gas is chilled at minus 162 degrees to convert into liquid so that it can be transported anywhere in the world. Prelude produces 3.5 million LNG each year, which is enough for a big city like Hong Kong. The ship has a displacement of 600,000 tons when fully loaded, which is four times more than the largest aircraft carriers. Rimu Big Float is a one-of-a-kind amphibious excavator designed for the most challenging environments such as swamps, shorelines, waste ponds, and canals. The patented pontoon undercarriage, which can be narrowed, allows for easy transportation on public roads. The Big Float is always ready to use right away and requires no assembly on the job site. The beauty of this machine is that it can hydraulically close a track frame to a legal width of 3.5 meters and then expand to safe water working width of 4.8 meters on site. When you consider that this machine has a reach of 16 meters, the operator can work an area larger than 800 square meters from a single position. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified when we release new content.